Right, so I am at the Almora Loft and initial impressions, absolutely just fell in love with this place right from the get-go. Our hosts, quite lovely. We've been shown the inside, which is quite good. I've had a sneak preview before all you guys. So come follow me and we'll take a quick look at the grounds and what's inside. One small detail that really got my attention was how well maintained the hedges are. It's like I was looking at it from the top and I was just like, damn, they really do care and appreciate what they do. Take a look at that. Too good. One thing I really liked also is the fact that they put in a nice coffee machine here and they've provided coffee pods. And also for the tea lover, they also provide nice teas in this cute little tea box. Can we open it? Let's take a look, yes. Wow, again, well done guys. All right, so let's take a walk upstairs then, shall we? So walking up these steps, oh, lovely touch there, this cute carpet. And so they got a day bed situation near the little balcony over here. We will look into this later. Right now it is a bit wet, but a perfect place to have your breakfast overlooking the owner's cute garden that they maintained and the golf course right behind. So this is your day bed and they provided an extra doona and look at that, that's just picture perfect right there. In fact, I'm probably gonna take a picture of that. So you walk through, again, like, you know, in movie terms, you've got a thing called mise-en-scene, like what is put in the scene and in the picture. And like every little detail that's being thought out from the pictures that they put on the walls to even this little knick-knack over here. but the use of a faux fireplace, so this is gas, it's very nice. Adds to that romanticism if you're with your partner. Cute chairs. And of course, you've got good sized double bed over here. Very nice. Oh, and that's just a lovely touch, the red velvet looking curtains. Good little bedsides. All in all, a cute place, and I'm glad I get to spend some quality time here. So yeah, my overall impressions are, at least at initial outset, is it's very cute, it's very charming. The homeowners, as in the proprietors of the place, are very nice and warm, lovely people. Excellent to deal with. The place is lovely. I'll give my final review right at the end, but initial impressions as they go are fantastic. So, au revoir. Just had breakfast, awesome, on the uh, little patio balcony situation over here, as you can see. Pretty good uh, we used to have whilst having breakfast. In terms of reviews, I don't think there's really much else to say really, but just enjoy.
I have wrapped up my stay at the Almora Loft in Wentworth Falls. I gotta say, it has been one of my favorite places to stay ever, really, and I'm someone who's been to Paris, Istanbul, you name it, like all across. It's a nice gateway and entry to the other Blue Mountain suburbs like Lura, Katoomba, you know, Medlo Bath and all that type of thing. You know, you come back and you've got your own quiet and tranquil place to hang and stay near really and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed my stay. I actually made the point that I'd love to come back again really. You know it's different, it's not like you know your typical hotel, no it's something more involved and personal like that. You get to actually see the homeowners here and the effort they really put into the place. So final thoughts, definitely love this place. I'm actually looking for the chance to actually come back for another weekend getaway really so Keep uh, watching my videos, all that good jazz. Like and subscribe. I'm just gonna go out actually here so you can see where I actually stayed up in the loft over there. <laughs> so, yeah, like and subscribe, all that good jazz. And I look forward to seeing all the comments below and tune in for more adventures in the future. Au revoir.